first, though, I want to talk about the tornado of 1985. This month marks 30 years since a violent tornado outbreak hit the area. It was one of the deadliest in Pennsylvania history and also the worst outbreak in Ohio since the super outbreak in 1974 near Xenia. To this date, we have had weaker tornadoes, such as the F2 in Clark in 2002, that was Western Pennsylvania, and then the smaller tornadoes scattered throughout the region. But the 1985 outbreak has not been matched to this point. The Dukes of Hazard will not be seen tonight, so we may bring you this special presentation. I'm Tom Holden. Some things stick in our minds forever. Around here, we will long remember what we were doing and what we saw on May 31st, 1985. I remember where I was on that evening of 1985. I was 10 years old. And I was just over my shoulder down the street here in Hubbard. That actually sparked my interest in weather, changing my life forever. Now I'm approaching 40 years old and the scars from 1985 still live on across the region. These scars are more than visual. They run deep within the memories of families here at home. The stories are amazing. Just ask a friend or a family member that lived through this event. On May 31st of 1985, 41 tornadoes swept through the U.S. and Canada, 21 of those in northeast Ohio and northwestern Pennsylvania. One F5, six F4s. The F5 was a storm that went from Newton Falls to Niles to Hubbard to Wheatland. This is a Newswatch 27 weather advisory. That was 30 years ago. In this once devastated Hubbard Township neighborhood, the houses have been rebuilt. Trees have returned. Most injuries have recovered. And some stories have even been lost through the years. As the communities began healing, technological advances have been booming. Weather forecast models in 1985 were not as precise. There were only a few to choose from, and they only updated a few times a day. But in 30 years' time, advancements continue propelling forecasting forward. Today's computing power has drastically improved the precision of these models. There are many models to choose from. Most are updated four times a day, some updating hourly. So what has changed in 30 years? The capability to pinpoint tornadic development within a storm has improved tremendously. We can not only detect rotation, but also debris within a storm. Radar can pinpoint intense rain, large hail, and severe winds with pinpoint accuracy. Just within the past five years, upgrades have given forecasters the capability to look into storm structure in more detail. This has helped give even more lead time for warnings. In 1985, you were lucky if you had a few minutes notice when a tornado approached. Today, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimates a lead time of 13 minutes. The way you receive these alerts has also improved. In 1985, you only had TV and radio. Today, your Storm Team 27 meteorologists are always tracking storms down to street level and ready to break into programming at any moment. Radio alerts sound the instant tornadoes are spotted or detected. Social media and cell phones have also accelerated warning time for storms. The storms have not changed, but these faster alerts provide crucial time that continues to save lives. Now here at Storm Team 27, of course, we're dedicated to keeping you and your family safe, and we alert as soon as those warnings come out. As always, and our policy is now, when there's a tornado warning, we go on the air and we stay on the air. Now with technological advances that I just talked about, this little feature right here has really changed things. In 1985, if your power would have went out of your house, you would have no way of right. warning unless you had a battery in your, your weather radio. Now, of course, the phone, we stream live on these during severe weather events. So that warning time is there even when your power is out. Uh, times have changed just in the past five or six years, and we were just talking. Who knows what's going to happen in the next 30. And these days, pretty much all of us have those smartphones in our Absolutely. pockets, so we have yeah. that technology mm -hmm. at our fingertips. Right, sure Paul? Thing. All right, thanks, Paul.